Welcome to Tommy Talks, the April edition. It's the spring edition. This time we have something really, really exciting to show you. We just released a completely overhauled new user experience on our control room in the cloud. And I'm dedicating this whole episode on just looking at what kind of changes we have made, why have we made them, and what, what really is the difference for our users. Hopefully you are our users. I'm not going to do this show alone. I'm bringing my colleague Erno in, and he's been uh, instrumental in, the, in, in uh, making these changes to Control Room. Let's bring Erno in and let him introduce himself. Welcome, Erno. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Tommy. My name is Erno Pirinen, and I work here in the Robocorp, Robocorp as the head of product of the platform, which means that I am responsible uh, for the product side of the Control Room. Nice to Amazing. meet you. Amazing. Uh, that's amazing. Thank you for, for joining the show today. Um, I'm really happy that I have somebody to, to walk us through the changes. I'm going to bring my screen soon on, um, but before we, we jump into, into the changes that we made uh, to Control Room, uh, could you fir first uh, talk a little bit about why did we embark this journey of, uh, of uh, changing the user experience in, in, in the cloud? Yeah, sure. So basically, I, I personally believe that every product should have as good user experience as possible. Because when you do something daily, you, you are going to use that thing, you are going to do like a lot of stuff with it. So basically, I guess you also want it to be smooth. You want to accomplish your goals as, as quickly and efficient as possible. So we wanted to bring the control room and other, other of the Robocorp products uh, in that sense like up to par or even mm. higher like we want to raise the bar here also so we really want to make, make it something to be something excellent i i completely agree and i'm 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 a strong believer that even if it's enterprise software the user experience does not need to suck and unfortunately with so many enterprise platforms or enterprise tools that is un that is the case and and i'm so proud of be be being in a company that that really pays attention and really thrives to uh, bring user experience on, on a top level for, for all of the users, whether they are enterprise or, or like a hobbyists in, uh, in automation. Yeah, um, I, so, I'm going to pull up the like, user interface now. Yep. Just... Erno, uh, what do we see first when we are looking at um, the new control room? Like, walk us through, please, some of the principles that we've done um, with the new design. Yeah, sure. So in the left side, you see what is the navigation element. So from there, you can navigate conveniently between your organization if you have multiple or work in your workspaces. So basically in here, what you see currently is also uh, like, yeah, their navigation items. And on the right, we are currently in, uh, in unentered robotics view, which is the processes view. And from this view, you can manage all your unattended automations. That's amazing. And what, what does the performance do? Yeah, good question. So in the overview, you have a list of your processes. But in the performance, we have created this dashboard where you can see like uh, some statistics across all of your processes. This is especially important, for example, if you are a business person who is mm. interested more on the side of like how my automation is uh, generating value for me mm. uh, and not like so much in the technical details. So this is a view uh, for those. And this can also easily be shared like with mm. other other people if you want, for example, to report management about your Robocop initiatives and how much value it has brought, you can just like uh, uh, take this view. I really like the total value generated and, and it's, it's amazing that you can actually configure per, per process what, what is the value generation and, and get these views really easily available without uh, spending time creating custom dashboards. Let's go back to overview. So. I understand this is how this is my uh, these are my um, unattended processes. So let should we go to one and see how how one process looks like? Yeah, let's go there. And one thing uh, I want to also emphasize here that as we talked about the UX, like also having a good UX uh, translates directly into productivity gains. In a sense that if you are, for example, somebody who is working around an RPA process, you you do your daily thing. You like if you're Process, process orders, you go check them and see if they are failed and so on. 
And for example, with a bad UX, you could it could take like hours or days to troubleshoot some exception. And we wanted to make it really, really convenient with the new UX to do stuff like that. So you should be able to do that kind of things in seconds or minutes. So that, that is a huge productivity gain for the teams. I really like uh, the new uh, the, the step view that brings the steps into a horizontal uh, like steps. It's not just a list, uh, list that it used to be before, but it's really visual and I, I really enjoy seeing. And it's so easy to see uh, the those exceptions that you just mentioned. Um, because those are essentially the ones that I would assume the user wants to see first. Like you want to go and f like fix any exceptions. If everything's running smooth, that's fine. It's nice to know, but that's not where you need to actually act on. Yeah, exactly. And with the graph, we are also like able to visualize uh, more, as you said, like the process as a form of graph. The old was like a table. It didn't mm -hmm. really like convey. Uh, the structure of the process. So it, it was sometimes for users a little bit hard to understand like how the process worked with the Robocop. Mm -hmm. But here you, you have the uh, structure clearly visible and you are also able to navigate with one click to all the important places like steps and inputs and mm -hmm. outputs and, and to your exceptions. Yeah. Okay, uh, should we try to run this process? Yes. So this process is uh, based on our producer consumer uh, uh, template. And it's basically a web store orders process which takes an Excel file uh, as input. Should I hit the run? Yes, ready? let's go. Yeah. <laughs> and so now that one... Tommy has started the run. Yeah. So basically what now happened is that Tommy started the run with an Excel file and we can see uh, it being in the pro uh, progress in the producer step. So our UI is uh, visualizing really well like what's happening in those steps. So you are always able to understand like mm -hmm. what's the status of the processing of different things. And from here, we can see that some of the uh, work items are now moving into the step two where we have a concurrent processing ongoing terrorist then uh, cloud environments pro processing those orders at the same time. So you are able to conveniently uh, mm -hmm. check that here. I'm just clicking one, seeing that the, yeah. I think there's only one left, so. Yeah, you, you, you went to the work data management. So basically there, whenever you see an element here, for example, these in progress items or done items or failed items or whatever, you can click that item and it will take you to the work uh, item manager view with the correct filters selected. So you, you don't need to uh, set them yourself. Let, let's talk about the failures a bit. I think this is really, really interesting. So we, we have some previous runs here that uh, we've on purpose created some of the failures. So let's maybe explore the work item view through the failed work items, because those are the more important and interesting than, than the uh, completed ones. Yeah, so these are what, what of the orders we first orders there, and these are the orders that did not pass for some reason, and the robot has flagged them uh, as such. Uh, here they are flagged as business exceptions, and when we now open one, we can see the data and what's there. And this is also a new, we have improved this work item view in a way that it's really convenient to skim through all of your failures and maybe fix them. And if you open the step block there, uh, you can open the step block like in, in a bigger view. If you have, for example, technical errors, you don't need to like dig very deep uh, into mm -hmm. somewhere to try to figure out uh, what's meant with the robot. You have direct access here to the robot logs, which makes uh, troubleshooting exceptions mm -hmm. really quick. And I really like this, uh, that you can edit it, uh, edit it in line here. So I can actually see that the error is that there's a typo in one of the products. It should be, I think, 1C. One C. I think that's correctly spelled product. Uh, so I'm going to just save it right, and then I'm going to retry. And I think that's the only thing that is needed for pushing that one particular work item back to the back to the uh, processing. Yes. So this is this is super convenient. Mm -hmm. And also if you want to progress a process like multiple uh, items at the time, you can like use mass selection from the if you told me want to try it, you can click there and click for example multiple items. If you scroll up, mm -hmm. you will you will see that you have um, like mass access also available. So if you know like you know like you have had uh 100 items that you know that will 
be successful if you retry them some kind of like maybe login system was down somewhere you can just click there and do mm -hmm. this kind of actions really conveniently from the ui looks really great um anything else you want to say i think our time starts to be up with the with the with the overview of uh, of control room but any any last words on on the ux or anything else that you want to highlight from from this view uh, not maybe from this view, but in general, this is not like the end of our UX development. This was just the beginning. We made this new frame that we are going to improve around. So uh, if you find anything you want to see here or think our uh, UX is cool or bad or want to see something big like changed, please contact us. We are really interested to hear uh, your thoughts about this. Yes, feedback is always important for us. And we have some... Um, Further Tommy Talk episodes uh, in the plans, we, we will be focusing on work items and work data management in detail. It will take a little bit more time, so we didn't want to go there today. Uh, there's also process outputs that were released in, in, uh, in the previous release this week when, when we were recording this video. Um, go check out the release notes at uh, updates.robocorp.com. We can post the link in the description of the, of the video. But that, that's something that we will cover in the, in the upcoming next videos. For now, this is all that we wanted to show you. Go, go and play with the, with the control room. As said, give us as much feedback as possible. We really uh, want to hear your opinions and, and, and your comments and ideas for the further development. Thank you, Erno, for joining me uh, for this show. I think we will see you next uh, soon again in, in one of the talks and, and we will dig deeper into what the control room is doing. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you. And thanks for everybody uh, for today's uh, session and see you soon again. Robocorp, where the world comes together to automate.